Hi everyone, I just thought we'd have a look at a setup for a critical path analysis, looking at precedents, looking at drawing um, a diagram out. So this is off the 2021 paper, question seven. I'm not sure if I do all of it, but I'll definitely be part of it. All right, let's have a look then. Uh, so part A says, um, figure five shows a partially completed activity network. Um, complete the precedence table for the eight activities show. Right, so I'll do a bit of zipping up and down, because I don't know if. If I write here, will it stay with it now? I see I just upstairs. Uh, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of up and down um, to make it stay in the right place. So if you look, A, B, and C are the starting points. They have nothing before them. So A, B, and C get that. Let's go back up there. D depends just on A. So that's okay. So D depends just on A. So that's okay. Where's my thing gone? <laughs> there. Right, let's have a look at the others. What else depends just on A? So F also depends just on A. And E also depends just on A. So E and F also depend just on A. So I've got G left and H left. If you look, G depends on B and F. So G depends on B and F. But H depends on these two, B and F, and C. So this is where the dummies come in. Because G was already placed as a lower dependence, than connected to B and F. And H has a more complex dependence, I've had to put the dummy in. So H is dependent on, on B, C and F. This is why it's important to scan down the list and try and get in the, the ones with the least dependence. Right, okay, back up to this bit now. So that's part A done. So I've got the precedence table for the remaining six activities. Complete the, uh, the network. Right, okay. Right. So, how are we going to do this then? So, I and J both depend on D, E, G, and H. But if you look, K just depends on E, G, and H. So, I'll do this one first before I and J. It's similar here, if you look at I, J, and K for L, but J and K are less dependent than I, J, K. So I'll do these first before I, J, K. So I mean about having to scan down the list just to check it. Right, so let's do the E, G, K one first. All the way down the R. Oops. I should have had that gap in there. I got it. So, what are we saying? So, we're saying that K depends on E, G, and H. That's right, isn't it? E, G, and H. So, K depends on E, G, and H. So, that's all the way back up here. That's that one. So, now let's look at I and J, because that's depending on D, E. So, D is free. Which is nice. So I can put an I and a J off D. Go that way because I know what it looks like. But at the moment, I and J are all dependent on D. I need it also dependent on E, G, and H. So I'm going to put my dummy going that way. Make sure your arrowhead is pointing the right way. Make sure your arrowheads are pointing as well. So that's a very easy to do. Point, point. Right, so let's have a look at M and N. So M and N are dependent just on J and K. So M and N are dependent just on J and K. So I can ping them together. And I'll have like an M and N going up here. So M and N are dependent on just J and K. So M and N depending on J and K is done. Right, so let's have a look at I, J and K. So L depends on I, J, and K. So J and K have been done, 
I is on its own. So I can put L in here, but at the moment, L is only dependent on I. It needs to be on I, J, and K, which I've already got an, an easier dependence. So this is a more complex dependence. So it's getting the W. Make sure your arrow goes to the mark. That's everything, then, isn't it? That's, that's covered absolutely everything which is in the precedence table. So any wiggly ends now have to be attached together. So if I put like a sync node, I can stick L in there. Now I've got a bit of an issue here now, because I've got two starting from the same point that need to finish at the same point. So because of that, I need to introduce a dummy. So I'm going to stick, I might as well stick a dummy in here. So if I directly connect M, I can put a dummy in there. Now you could put the dummy on M and have it directly connected on M. Some people put the dummy at the start. But the important thing is here that it started and finished at the same point. So, so I've got a dummy. Have you done it? Right, let's have a look at that. This last bit here. So it says, given that all 14 activities have the same duration, explain why D can't be critical. So let's have a look. So what I tend to do is just, in my mind, work out how I can get there. So I kind of set all the activities to have a duration of one. So this is for C. So if you imagine that all activities have a duration of one, just keep an eye on the time. Now, B and F, where's B and F? There. G can't start until B and F are finished, and F depends on M. So the earliest G can start would be at 3. Now, I'm trying to see if D, where's D? Oh, what's D? Well, it says, like, why D can't be um, dependent, uh, be critical. And I, it's because of this bit here. So, like the, that, so the, the A and F mean G can't start till 2, uh, G can't finish till 3, D can't, has like a, a, a latest end time of 3, but an earliest start time is 1. So, because of the dummy, I'm not really quite sure I've made that quite clear on my explanation there, but G can't start till 2, which means it finishes at 3. Which means the earliest start time for I and J is three, so the latest completion time for D is three, but the earliest start time for D is one. So I've got to try and put that into some form of obvious understanding. So as E and G can't start till two. And finish at three. I can't start I can't start till three, but that there is the latest end time for activity D. The earliest start time Activity D is one. So my float is like a three take one take one is one. So it's not critical. Now what's important in this answer, I've been a bit woolly, but I've been quite clear about the latest end time for activity D is three, and the earliest start time for activity D is one. So I've made it really clear which activities I'm talking about. And that's important to get the marks on that question. Right, I'm done now. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.